Okay, so Jessica's about to make puff pastry from scratch. She's done this once before to great success, and she's going to do it uh, a little bit differently now. So, Jessica, why don't you explain uh, what this whole process is going to be? Well, I made puff pastry a few years ago, and I don't exactly remember the recipe I used or um, all of the methodology. But I do remember that I pounded a bunch of butter into submission, I had a slab of that on top of a dough, and then I folded that up several times in what are called turns to create puff pastry. So I thought it was a Martha Stewart recipe. I found a number of different recipes that didn't quite jive with what I remembered, but I found one that comes pretty close. Um, and I'm choosing this method over other methods, which include um, creating a very buttery dough and folding that into a flour dough. Um, instead of a, just a slab of butter. Uh, I didn't want to deal with creating two doughs because I felt that would be too complicated and it didn't, it didn't match what I remembered doing last time. So this time I'm going to try to do the same. So right now I have um, a mix of all-purpose flour and cake flour with some salt. I've got some cold water, which is technically supposed to be ice water, but some recipes have asked for just water, so I'm going to just go with that. Um, and I'm going to make a dough, and I'm going to actually do this in two parts because we have two tenderloins and because I don't have a surface that's big enough to make the 24-inch rectangle that many recipes call for. So I'm going to make a dough, divide this into two, and we'll let that rest. 